Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and today we're gonna talk about runes in the Dragon Champion. We're gonna try to cover the basic of the runes, where to get them and how to set them properly so you guys can have a better setup on your characters definitely and also we're gonna have a link in the description uh, down below to an amazing reference for runes guys for people who are not sure what runes to put on what characters we're gonna show that a little bit later in this video but before we get into anything guys if you're level 15 or below make sure to use the uh, promo code starco to get ten dollars worth of freebie to do so it is very simple you go in the settings button here use promo code and you enter the word starco and you press ok and you see i cannot use it because i am above level 15 but if you're level 15 or below you will get a bunch of freebies and show support to the channel at the same time so it's a win win situation guys now runes first thing where do we get runes you have four places in the game where you can get runes place number one campaign runic journey you will have access to all the runes although they are very low quality runes but still when you get started it's very important to set your runes properly and this gives you this opportunity until uh, you start getting you know the blue and purple runes at three and four stars this is where you're gonna get your runes most of the time now you can see you have uh, all chapter here uh, elt armor critical rate critical damage uh, tenacity damage potency and speed runes so those are all the runes that are available in dragon champion now after that where else you have uh, the shop if you are well or if you have so much gold you don't know what to do with it guys well you can spend millions and millions and millions of gold in here in this amazing shop you can uh, pick the runes you want like you can just press on the rune oh this rune has that on it. Do I want it? Do I not want it? This is your choice pretty much. So that is the uh, kind of the well place to get runes. Unless you know your, your account is fully maxed out. You got everything. But if you are at that point, it's because you're well too. Uh, well, you can get your runes there uh, pretty much. Then there are the other two places you can runes first in event. Every day you have a different event. Uh, most days it's runes. Uh, some days it's something different, but most of these runes like today was critical damage. Tomorrow is going to be tenacity, as you can see here. So you can see you have different different runes. You're going to have special requirement for those days. Like for me, demon is terrible. I can't even participate in it because I got one demon that's actually ready for that. I'm I'm working on that, guys. Don't worry. Uh, so yeah, you can get those runes, which is going to give you. I think it's three star runes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, three stars runes. You see. You have uh, all the runes and then you have this one. This one will give you three random runes every time you run it when you get to that level. So that's the event for the runes. Then you have tournament. Tournament will have uh, epic runes tournament. So uh, if you go in there and you, we can take a look at the rewards here. Uh, like if you just get the minimum rewards, you're going to have three and four star green. Um, chance to green or blue. And then if you go up, blue, then chance for purple and blue. And if you rank at the top, uh, you're guaranteed to get uh, pretty much a bunch of uh, epic runes, which is always nice. But this is where you get your runes, guys. Very simple. You have those four plays. And sometimes there will be a login event where they promote the characters and give you runes at the same time, which can actually be very 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 useful but this is the only place you can actually get runes i wish they will have a chess a runic chess where you know you have a chance to get some runes out of there i think that will be awesome i think people will love to spend some track coins because there's not much to spend track coins on once you have your roster set up you don't buy a rollstone with track coins pretty much it's just buy your refresh uh, energy refresh and that is pretty much it and you spend it on gold when you run low on gold pretty much i guess that's what I do. I know I should not be spending it on gold. So I wish they will have that, that uh, runic chest, to be honest. So we can actually have a chance of getting some great runes. Like every week is the different uh, chest, you know, chance increase on, uh, for example, one week is speed. Next week is uh, potency. And I think that will be actually awesome uh, setup for chest. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Now, 
We talk about how to acquire runes and how we wish to uh, have a different way to acquire runes. Now we're going to talk about how setting up runes. Uh, so we're going to jump on the character here. Uh, like if we go for Eric Shield Breaker. Eric Shield Breaker does not apply debuff, so he does not need the potency. Eric Shield Breaker uh, does not have a critical rate to buff, so he does not need critical damage. So what Eric Shield Breaker will need, since he has very high uh, damage attack on his skills, he's going to need more damage. And he's going to need more critical rate, so he can get a little bit extra damage when he actually get a critical rate hit. So this is... This it up for him. We're gonna go with four damage runes. Let's go in runes here. We're gonna go with four damage runes and two critical rate runes. Now it doesn't matter which slot you put which rune, except for one thing. What the only important thing is the primary. Like northeast primary, you wanna have speed, at least on this guy. And most people, only some characters that don't require speed there is some specific tanks that we're not getting into it. Basically, guys, if you don't know what to put there, it's speed. Always speed as primary. Then you have the bottom one here. The bottom one will depend on the characters. Like, here I have two options. I can do, go either critical damage to try to increase that critical damage a little bit, or I could go damage increase, which was my choice because uh, his second skill just does so much damage. And if we increase that damage, it's without getting a critical rate a critical it i think is the perfect setup in my personal opinion so we went uh damage as a um as a primary and then you have the northwest primary northwest primary the optimal here will actually be damage i did not have any runes in either the damage runes or the critical runes that will have a that had damage as primary so i went with tenacity or tenacity so you can avoid getting debuff as much as possible that's what tenacity is going to give you it will help you prevent getting debuff pretty much so it can be quite useful in some situation and since i did not have uh the actual damage primary that was pretty much the best option because if you look at that shield no thank you shield no thank you health no thank you shield potency it does not need potency that would be great for somebody that needs potency though shield and health so that, that those were my options you can see tenacity was definitely the best option i had here and the two sets we end up with pretty much is eight percent critical chance and um 15% increased damage, which is what we wanted to do here. So that gives you a little example. The only three primary you uh, really worry about is this one, this one, and this one. This one is usually going to be like health or shield, I think. Yeah, health or shield are the two primary here. So you don't really worry about that. If you really want to get that extra shield, you can put shield there, but that doesn't matter much. Uh, this one is going to be armor or health or just armor. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think it's just armor. It looks like it's just armor. So guaranteed to have armor there. And this one is damage. Damage, damage. See? All the primary are damaged. So you automatically automatically going to get damage on that north primary. Automatically getting armor in that, in that southeast primary here. And automatically going to get either shield or health in that uh, southwest primary so you don't really care about what to put on this one you just put whatever you have left to put the three first runes you want to put is the northeast the south and the northwest so you can actually set up your three important primaries and then you just drop uh, the rest in the position they need to be to give you uh, your uh, your sets pretty much your set bonus because it's very important to get your set Button. so this is how you set up runes guys now if we go with another uh, example of characters that i've done uh, lately i'm pretty sure i've done this one right so and it's actually a perfect example you can see this guy has true critical rate and four critical damage runes and why it is set like that is because of that because see increase critical chance by x amount number when you get it to max level it's 30 percent increase the critical chance so you want to have as much critical damage as possible and this guy increases critical chance a little bit too i'm working on this guy by the way guys for the elf event that's gonna come back pretty damn soon so if we go in this room we you can see here i went speed 
here I went critical damage as much as possible and here I went damage because it does not apply debuff this guy is really about getting critical damage out what is going to make him good is doing critical hits so you want that critical damage buff as much as possible that critical damage rune set will give you 30 percent critical damage plus the primary here that gives you 27.3 percent critical damage so in the end at this level which is pretty 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 shitty rewards uh level right now you know still got a lot of work to do on him i'm waiting on the gold spending event by the way to do more work you can see we have 27.74 percent critical rate which is going to go up by another 15 percent already so it's going to be up to 42 percent plus extra stats so probably a little bit higher and you can see that critical damage is already at 207 percent so when he's going to get critical it is going to hit like hell and that is what you want on this guy sadly this guy will not have all the speed i need obviously when he gets to level 80 and you know i finished working on him his speed's going to be a little bit higher than that but this guy i don't really worry about the speed this guy is about getting his critical it out pretty much and you do have this skills that will uh give him a critical damage increase too so it is crazy 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 how much damage is going to do with this rune setup this is why we have this rune setup on him now I'm sure you guys have questions about every specific characters how to build them properly for either PvE, PvP, raid, because you have different setup for all the characters. Like in tower, you're gonna build characters differently than you build them for arena or you build them for raid, which PvE is mostly tower, and you have new game modes coming soon, which this website will get updated, I'm pretty sure. This website is the following website. You have the link in the description down below, guys. Uh, big thank you for people working on this website this uh rune guide was actually posted by shaking gaming you can actually check him on youtube awesome content creator for dragon champion so here we go so you have a rune set up for every body here see if you go down hells we we started with the goblin elf uh pride demon orcs humans uh, pandas and that is pretty much it and you do have a link to uh, another uh, rune guides for all characters here from shaking gaming by the way guys but if we look at uh, what I did with freezer here you can see there is different setup you know you see you have four speed two critical rate four speed two potency for uh, four critical rate two potency four speed to uh, potency so it's really you go with the best you can do uh, differently in some situation and you know some situation you want to play the characters differently than they recommend so you're gonna go with different setup but if you don't know what to do guys this is the place to go the link is in the description down below make sure to check it out it will give you amazing information there's a lot more on this website too the best dragon champion website without a single doubt guys anyway hopefully you guys enjoy this video hopefully this video was helpful if you have any questions feedback comment there's a comment section down below make sure to use it again if you're new players or if you are level 15 or below make sure to use the promo code starco in the settings slash use the promo code uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel drop a like guys that's uh that's always nice anyway thank you for watching guys and uh, on that i will see you next time